Hi, Dave Williams here, and in this video I am going to describe to you the inner workings of an SR latch. What we have here is an SR latch circuit that's made up of the SR latch, which is here in the middle, that consists of a couple of NOR gates that are connected to outputs, but at the same time as being connected to the outputs, values are also fed back into inputs of the SR latch. We'll see what effect that, that feedback has. So, but along with the SR latch, we also have input control signals, which are set up from these push buttons for the on the set and the reset, along with pull down so that the signals are connected low when the buttons are not pushed in. And he, over here on the output, we have LEDs that are going to display when the Q is high or when the signal driving the Q is high and when or when Q bar is low. To get an understanding of how this circuit works, let's assume some starting conditions. So let's say that set and reset are both connected to zero. They're both, neither one is pushed in, so they're both pulled low. And that our output default or the initial starting state is, is the reset state. So that means Q bar is a one and Q is a zero. And to understand why this can continuously stay in this particular state, let's look what, at what's happening in each one of these NOR gates. So on this top NOR gate, we have a zero as one of the inputs, and the other input is the zero that's coming from the, the bottom NOR gate. So we have zero and z zero, zero here gets NORed, and that gives us a one. At the bottom NOR gate, we have a zero as one of the inputs, and the other input comes from the output of the top NOR gate. So we actually have a one here. Zero NORed with one gives us a zero. So as long as set and reset don't change, Q bar and Q are going to stay at one and zero. Now let's say that set gets pushed in. The set button gets pushed in. So what happens is this signal here, this one input to the NOR gate gets changed to a 1. 1 NORed with 0 makes the output of the top NOR gate a 0. And at the same time, this, or a few nanoseconds or fraction of a time later, this 0 gets fed back into this other NOR gate. So on this other NOR gate, we have a 0 NORed with 0 which makes the output of the bottom NOR gate change to a 1. And since this bottom NOR gate is Q and the top NOR gate output is Q bar, we have forced this system into the set state. And this 1 is also being fed back into this NOR gate there, so that 0 becomes a 1. But 1 nor with 1 is still 0, so the output of this NOR gate is not affected at all. The next thing that's going to happen is that set's going to be released. So set goes back to a zero. That turns the signal here to a zero. Zero nord with one is still zero. And since this signal is not changing, it's still a zero. And this signal on the reset is not changing, it's also still a zero. And zero or nord with zero is a one. The Q and the Q bar do not change when that set signal is released. And as long as neither set nor reset is, is pressed again, the output state of the system will be the set state. Now, starting in the output set state with the inputs both at zero, let's change the reset. Let's push the reset button in, change it to a one. So we push the reset button in, the signal here becomes a one. 1 NORD with 0 becomes a 0. This 0 is connected to the wire here, so the other input of the NOR gate becomes a 0 up here. 0 NORD with 0 makes the output over here become a 1. And then this one becomes the other input to the bottom NOR gate. We have one NORD with one gives us a zero. So we force the output to go into the reset state. Then the reset button gets released. The 
input to the NOR gate here becomes a zero. Zero NORD with one is still zero. So this zero is feeding into this NOR gate. Zero NORD with zero is still one. So the system doesn't change state even when the reset button gets released. And pushing the reset button multiple times, if I push it again, this forces this to become a one. One NORD with one is still zero. So the output here doesn't change. Nothing in this NOR gate is going to change. So the state, it will still be in the reset state. So I hope that gives you an idea of the inner workings of an SR latch, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.